Every November, as winter begins to set in, tens of thousands of greater and lesser flamingos flock to the mudflats of Sivri and hang around the Thane Creek area till the onset of the monsoon. They are known to travel all the way from Kutch in Gujarat and Sambar Lake in Rajasthan. Smaller numbers of the birds are even believed to fly in from Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iran, Israel, and even as far as France. This is the Thane Creek. At 26 kilometers, it is Asia's largest inlet. And during low tide, it's a flamboyance of pink. Flamingos live and feed in groups called flocks or colonies. The leggy creatures can grow up to 60 inches tall, weighing over 3 kilos. Their pinkish hue comes from the pigment in the shrimp and algae they feed on. Large numbers of the birds can be attributed to a phenomena called edge nature. This is when wilderness merges with human impact and as a result, some species are able to thrive in it. Over the years, alarming levels of pollution in the Thane Creek has been brought on by unchecked sewage discharges and illegal dumping. This in turn has caused a boom in the growth of the blue-green algae in the mudflats where the flamingos go to feast. Though it is a rare turn of circumstances, now, more than ever, there is a need to engage in more responsible and sensitive planning, coupled with working towards providing a toxicity-free environment for these birds. Else, conservationists fear this phenomenon may be a short-lived one.